Welcome to Professor Pincushion. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create the rolled hem. This hem is perfect for lightweight fabrics such as shears and chiffons. Here you can see the right side of the fabric, and if I flip it up, here's the wrong side. So it's basically a very narrow hem. And I'm going to show you how you can create the same look without using any special machine attachments. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do when we're making a rolled hem is figure out how much we're hemming up our project. So for example, if I'm hemming it up an inch, what I'm going to have to do is add 1 8 of an inch to that. So I'm going to be marking on my sewing gauge here 1 and an eighth inches. We add just a little bit because we're going to be folding it up and it's going to cut into that. So I'm just using my little fabric pencil here and my sewing gauge and I'm going to mark on my fabric all along the bottom, one and an eighth inches. Of course, if you're creating a, a garment and you have to do different lengths, then you would go ahead and do that. You just always add an eighth of an inch to whatever you're doing and mark it all along the bottom. Now I'm gonna stitch right on the marks that I made. And of course, you're gonna wanna use a matching thread with your fabric. I'm just using a contrasting so it's a little bit easier for you to see. Don't forget to back stitch in order to save your stitches. And if you're doing a lightweight fabric like I am, make sure that you use the appropriate needle, which is probably about a 70. Next, you're gonna go ahead and fold up your hem. So what we're looking at here is gonna be considered the wrong side of the fabric or the wrong side of your project. So that's the side that's facing up. You're gonna take the bottom of the fabric and you're gonna fold it up so that your stitches end up right there next to the fold line. So when it's folded up to the wrong side, you can actually see your stitches. Then you're gonna take your iron and you're gonna press this whole length so that it's all in that same manner. Next, we're gonna trim all this extra fabric off. So you wanna just trim this part again. We're still looking at the wrong side. So this part that we folded up is all gonna be trimmed off and you're gonna cut pretty close to your stitching line. So we're not cutting the stitching line. You don't wanna cut any more than an eighth of an inch. So I've already started it here and I'm just gonna continue going all the way down. And if it's not perfectly straight, it's, it's fine because it's gonna be folded up and covered anyways. So you just do the best that you can with this. After you finish trimming it, you're gonna go ahead, fold it again to the wrong side and you're gonna go up 1 8 of an inch. So if it's a little bit easier for you, you can fold it up one eighth of an inch and then put your straight pins to hold it just so we can have everything folded up for when we take it to the machine. Lastly, we're gonna stitch everything down and you're gonna make sure to stitch, I like to stitch close to the fold because I wanna make sure all my raw edges are gonna stay tucked under. And I like to slightly pull my fabric as it's going in. So everything stays nice and tight. And definitely use matching thread with your fabric. I'm, again, I'm using white just as a contrasting. But as you can see, it's just a very narrow hem. And now we're all finished. So let's take a look at this. This is of course the wrong side where you can see it folded up and there's my stitches right there. Let's take a look at the right side. There we go, so the right side looks nice and neat and it's ready to go. And that is how you complete the rolled hem. Make sure to check out our other videos and visit professorpincushion.com to view our complete library with well over a hundred sewing video tutorials. New tutorials are released regularly, so make sure to subscribe to be notified of the next release. Thanks for watching.